The summer special update has been out for a couple of days now, and we've learned even more things that Rockstar didn't mention in their patch notes. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys 10 more things you might not have known about the update. Before we get into the new 10 things, I wanted to give you guys some gameplay of that new free mode event Rockstar added. This is the drug dealer car, and it's a pretty cool event. It happened to me kind of by the Eclipse Towers, and what you have to do is basically get the car and then bring it to a location. Now, it's a pretty cool idea, and I would love to see more of these little events like this. However, it only pays $10,000. Like, I don't know what, like, do Rockstar not want us to do the things they added to the game? Who is gonna do this for $10,000? I don't think anyone. So, I don't know, that's what it looks like, that's some gameplay, but yeah, it's not worth it at all. So if you see it, you can just skip it. All right, so some of the new stuff. They added some new masks in the game. We have some new animal masks and we have these techno masks or these tech masks. And they look, when you buy them, like they light up. And sure enough, it doesn't tell you, but if you go into your style, your interaction menu, and then your style section, and you go down to the illuminate mode, you can actually switch the illumination on these masks. So you can switch between on and off, pulsing or flashing. So if you are using some of those new masks, then that's a pretty cool option to have. And they do look pretty sweet at night. The second thing, and this is something that in typical Rockstar fashion, they just couldn't let us have it all. Before the update, to move a yacht, it cost you $25,000, and that adds up over time. After the update, if you complete all six of the new yacht missions, I, I'm assuming as a host, then that fee actually is reduced. Now, it's not reduced to free, but it is reduced to only $10,000. I guess that is better than nothing, but it is kind of unfortunate they didn't just make it free, because, I mean, it's like $10,000, like, really... Why not just make it free? But if you do want to move your yacht or if you get stuck in a location you don't want, it does cost less if you complete those missions. So that does give a little benefit of going through it with all six. The third thing, and this is something that they did mention in the newswire or in the patch notes, but just in case you didn't check that, you can now purchase snacks from Wendy in the arcade. So this is going to be real helpful for the casino heist. You don't got to go all the way to your CEO office. You can just go upstairs and buy snacks and they're free so awesome another thing thank the lords ljt doesn't call us now instead of spamming you with calls if you're doing any of the mc missions or mc cell business missions he will only text you and this is what one of the texts look like so you'll be seeing a lot of those rather than calls which honestly i'm fine with because it just got annoying they also updated Simeon's export vehicles. And again, this is, you know, it's nothing major. This is probably for like very, very low levels, but they did add some new cars. I believe these are the new cars that you will see on the list. So I guess if you're stealing cars off the street, beware of these, because these sometimes will give you two stars if you get in them. But I also believe that if you sell some of these, you get like 15 to 22,000, I believe. That's what some people have told me not a whole lot of money again unless you are a very very low level so it's cool they added it but probably not going to get used that often now one actually pretty neat thing they did with free roam and the free roam events more specifically is that they now spawn with a minimum of three people instead of five prior to this update you needed five people in a public lobby for a free mode event to spawn now you only need three so technically you can get these free mode events to spawn if you're in a solo public lobby with two other friends. And considering some of the newer free mode events, they have tons of cargo. You can basically end up getting cargo for free, which is very nice. And then also on that, they reduced the amount of time between free mode events. Before it was every 30 minutes, which is why you rarely saw them. Now it's every 20 minutes. So the frequency is a lot higher. They also added some new arcade stuff. Well, we obviously know about the two new arcade games, but they added new arcade shirts, and what you're seeing right now is some gameplay, hopefully, of them. If not, I'll have some screenshots. I mean, just some simple shirts, but 
they are new so i'm sure these will come out at some point if they're not already out in the game and then they also added some new arcade trophies so i know some of you guys really like to stack that trophy case up and you know make sure you get everything in the game well you can get two new arcade trophies and then one thing they mentioned in the newswire was the pegasus vehicles and how they upgraded it but honestly i don't i don't exactly know if they 100 percent did i think they fixed it where it the vehicles don't spawn so now i think no matter what you should get a vehicle at a particular location but when i tested this a couple of times I didn't really notice any new locations. I mean, I guess it is hard to spawn some of the bigger aircraft at new locations. There's not that many areas around the map, but at least for aircraft, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of new locations, if any at all. I'm thinking maybe the new locations were mainly for the vehicles that are on the ground. It also could be that some of the old Pegasus locations just like got some new spawn points so I think like in the gameplay you're seeing, I'm going to like the dock area or like the marina area. Normally, I believe the planes or the helicopters spawn on like the other helipad where it's on this one now. So maybe stuff like that changed, but I haven't noticed a whole bunch of difference between now and before the update. So I'm not entirely sure of what this Pegasus upgrade really did. And then the final thing, just a fun little thing to note, the club. The new 1.2 million dollar vehicle that is not very good i mean it's good in its class but i mean it's you know kind of useless for the price tag well if you decided to buy one you can fit it in clothing shops i i did it here in the suburban clothing shop and i don't know why this would be useful but maybe you'll find a use for it maybe we can see how many we can fit in there who knows but yeah, those are 10 more things you might not have known about the summer update. If you guys find anything else that I haven't mentioned, then let us know in the comment section below. But thank you all for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.